Have you ever had a sign and wondered if it came from your angels? Want to know the signs that you can pay attention to to know that your angels are close by and wanting to contact you? In today's video, I'm going to share with you seven signs that your angels are contacting you. So stay tuned. Welcome to the Communicate with Your Angels YouTube channel. My name is Melissa and I'm here to help you develop your spiritual abilities and trust your inner guidance, be able to receive messages from your angels and use it in a practical way in your life. So if you want to join me on this spiritual journey, I invite you to hit that subscribe button, stay notified of my brand new videos every Wednesday and hit the like button too if you appreciate this video. I'd so appreciate you. Here are seven signs that your angels are trying to contact you. The first is if you see flashes of light, you might see a bright white light out of the corner of your eye or even right in front of you of the room and it just kind of is a flash and then it disappears. That's my experience. This is when you really are visually starting to perceive your angels and they are making their presence known to you. The second sign that your angels are contacting you is if you see number sequences. For me, the common one is 111 or 1111. I see it every day in different formats. And I always take that as a reminder that my angels are with me. They want to contact me. They're reminding me that I am spirit, that I have that spiritual communication available to me. And it's easy to forget that as we go about our busy lives, right? Some of you see different number sequences. Sometimes I see fours, sometimes I see threes. I usually don't see others, but I know that, you know, you might have your own number sequences that you're seeing. These are the ways that your angels start wanting you to be more aware of their presence. They know that you're ready to expand and to listen to them more closely. And so they're, they're now getting your attention through the number sequences. Um, I have a video about 111 that I'll link right here if you want to know more about that. Another sign that your angels are contacting you is if you feel here ringing in your ears. Have you ever had that like a kind of a buzzy ringy in your ears? That's when you're tuning into a high vibration of energy and almost hearing the sound of spirit. So just as when you see the flash of light, you're seeing spirit, when you hear that ringing in your ears buzzy, that's when you're hearing spirit. Pretty cool, right? So always just pay attention to these signs and acknowledge their presence. Another sign that your angels are contacting you is if you feel chills or goosebumps. It's like a tingling. Um, the Quaker religion called it the quickening of the flesh, right? So that's when you're feeling the high vibration of your angels close to you physically. You feel that extra sense of um, sensitivity through the nervous system when that high energy comes close to you. And really pay attention to when you feel the chills or the goosebumps because there's often something that they're wanting to communicate to you or encourage you to pay attention to something that's happening in the moment when you feel the chills. Another sign that your angels are contacting you is if you see a special symbol in your environment. The two most common symbols are pennies and feathers. Now, you might have other ones, and I'm not discounting that at all, but I find that these are the kind of the universal symbols, pennies and feathers. So when I first moved into this apartment two years ago, I kept finding pennies in every room. And they just were showing up out of nowhere. No one was putting them there. I was not walking around <laughs> dropping money. I never had cash come out of my wallet, and yet... I kept seeing penny. there was a penny in the closet, there was a penny on the kitchen table, there was a penny in the bedroom. There was pennies just showing up all the time. It was such a wonderful confirmation at that time in my life when I was just separating from my spouse and starting to live my own life that my angels were really wanting me to know that, hey, we're here, we're supporting you, there's magic. These pennies are showing up out of nowhere, right? And feathers, I've not experienced that one myself, but I've heard many, many people say they just see that white feather everywhere. So do you have another one? I'd love to know what goes on for you. 
Another sign that your angels are contacting you is if you have very vivid dreams and dreams that you remember and dreams that kind of like wake you up in the night and go, wow, what was that message about? Our angels will often give us messages and symbols through dreams if we are kind of resisting it while we're awake. That is a, a time, obviously, when you're more relaxed, you're spiritually connected and you will get a lot of messages through dreams. So I do encourage you to write down those dreams if you remember them and see what the symbols represent to you and another sign that your angels are contacting you is if you start hearing a song in your mind that seems to come out of nowhere and it, the lyrics of the song have a message for you it's a really fun way um, when i was again when i was going through my separation i heard the queen song i want to break free <laughs> So that was a time in my life, and still is to be honest, where I really needed freedom. I really needed to just kind of be by myself, to rediscover who I am, and to break free from the limitation that I had been living in. I'm not blaming my ex-husband for that. That was something that I was creating, and I just needed to shift you know, my environment, my living situation in order to get back to freedom but I want to break free was what my angels were singing to me and just validating that I was on the right, doing the right thing. And just general, a bonus sign that your angels are contacting you is if you get hunches and messages coming out of nowhere, that thought that pops in your mind, the hunch, the gut feeling. I talk about these, you know, four spiritual gifts all the time and that you can definitely always get messages through that. But the seven signs today are just some other kind of interesting ones to pay attention to that I don't often talk about. So if you're having any of those seven signs, let me know below which ones have you experienced? What did it mean to you? And I look forward to reading that. And if you would like to, instead of just seeing the signs, um, really actually open up a connection and a communication with your angels, I invite you to join me on my next free live masterclass. Um, you can go to communicatewithangels.com forward slash webinar. The title of the class is How to Connect with Your Angels and Spirit Guides. I will be there live with you. You'll learn how to tune in and connect your energy so that you're receptive to spirit and you will hear a message from your angels we'll do that on the class so i can't wait to see you over there and the next video i recommend you watch is called the three essential steps for angel communication so you can start you know connecting with your angels right away so i've linked that video right here and i can't wait to see you over there